Here we go, guys. African greatest, one of the African greatest Pan-Africanists and then former president of Southern Africa, Nelson Mandela, died broke and have the proof. Prophet Uber Angel, let's go watch this one. Jesus is saying, make yourself friends with the money and the prosperity of those who are not righteous. No, I know you, you want me to talk about something, but this is a series on money. And you got to understand it. In one of my books, The Ten Irrefutable Laws of Money, you have not gotten it yet. One of the rules of money is money doesn't go to nice people. It goes to ruthless people. <laughs> this is why drug dealers have it. And Christians who are praying. Do you know how many prayers come out of Africa to God with regards to money? Yet we are the poorest continent. Financially, I'm talking about in the bank, not in the ground. Why? We're not ruthless. We're too nice. Just go across the border to South Africa and you'll see a man called Mandela. Very soft-spoken. Nice even after he became president. He was nice. Only when he died, they looked at his will and he had just a few runs left for a man that big. Money doesn't go to nice people. You are too nice. I've not even started preaching. But I want to do on this wise, you are too nice for money to be attracted to you. These are rules you will never learn if you sit in your house or listen to some people on social media. If you realize that so many millionaires have taught you how to get rich, no one has taught you how to be ruthless. Even the God you save, <laughs> he's called a consuming fire. All right, guys. All right, guys. <clears throat> this this particular video has fallen in that category that I very much appreciate and love. It's money, all right? Bible is so much aware. God is so much aware. And he's saying that, <laughs> you know, where money is, that is where your heart will be. And everybody wakes up and go to work in your job. Okay, because that is where the money is and that is where your heart is. You get what I mean? So let's not make ourselves like the most holiest of holies. You get what I mean? And let's just relegate the whole issues to the background. You know that Pan-Africanist Mandela, Prophet the Angel wouldn't just be saying anything he doesn't know. Because one, he met the man in person, you get what I mean, even before he passed on. So he's having all the necessary facts. And then you, let's put Mandela's issue aside and let's bring Dr. Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana. If you go to his hometown, he's not even having a building or a house of his own. Okay, now, it depends the angle you are trying to retrieve this information from. You get what I mean? But all that I want to say is that looking at what I, I, I like uh, prophets so much because in as much as there is poverty in the church or in the Christian fraternity, he tries as much as possible to, you know, highlight on key important things or key, you know, fundamentals that will help individuals to be rich and then whenever he is teaching or preaching about money or whatever the topic may be related to finance he doesn't just teach and cite examples of rich people like some other preachers do he teaches 
the way or the best way you can approach business, you can start something for yourself. And he gives examples practical enough to the church members. You know, I have one problem with religious leaders, okay? And that problem that I have is that most religious leaders, I said most, I'm not saying all, most religious leaders want to take offerings, seeds, titans from church folks. And then my point is, if you are a religious leader, the Bible contains a lot of subject areas. Some sections of the Bible even talks about wealth and all the, those things. You get what I mean? The more you take from your church members, it is, don't, don't sit somewhere and tell me what I'm saying is lying, bro. It, it's, it's, it's a lie, bro. Let me tell you something. If folks, it is your duty, as much as you are the shepherd and your church folks are the sheep, it is very, you look after the shepherd to be in good health, good shape. The shepherd is taken well, well taken care of. That's what I mean. Okay. So if you are making sure the shepherd is well taken care of, it means the fi finances of the shepherd, uh, as a shepherd of the sheep, sorry, is important. Don't be that person who wants to give me, give me, give me, give me. You don't even know what these people are eating. Give me, give me, give me. You don't even care about the progress of the business of your people. Give me, give me, give me. Now, presidents are dying poor. Some spiritual leaders are even dying poor. Meanwhile, some of them even create the scene and the picture that so far as you are a spiritual person, you belong to the Christian fraternity. Riches is not that relevant or important. But same people will come to you asking for seeds, offerings, and whatnot. So I'll commend Prophet for what he's been doing. That is, you know, teaching. Ah, I've, I've listened to some of the sermons. You know, sometimes I want to take content from or, or key messages like some strong, strong headlines and then talk about it in my podcast. But I end up listening to everything because. Most of the things that he is saying is very relevant. You get what I mean? So he goes ahead, tell these people how to build a business. Tell them how to cut down expenditure. Gucci is not for you. This one is not for you. Go in for this one. Do this, do that, do that. And this is how we can grow as Christian fraternity. All right? But the more you come, give me this, give me that, give me this. You don't even add any value. All you care about is guiding the people spiritually. My brother, money doesn't have any spiritual principle that, that 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 makes it come your way. The principle in the Bible that guides money says give and it shall be given unto you. There is no spiritual, you know, uh, uh, act, uh, activity there or event there. Give is a physical thing. I'm giving. And if it's, if it, if it even concerns money, it's giving physically. You know what I mean? So I think it's about time that there are a lot of people who are less privileged financially in the church that I think now we as Christian or uh, religious leaders should highlight on how our church people can make money as well as we guide them on how they will, they will gain their salvation at the end of the day. Notice this. Bible says when Christ will come, the final day Christ will come, the day day, some people will be working. Some will be at the corn mill. Some will be having wedding ceremonies. You get what I mean? If some will be working, then it means it's important to go in for the money. And notice this. He said one will be picked. So be, have salvation and follow and, and, and go get some money as well. You get what I mean? So guys, make sure you subscribe, share. My name is Peter Nixon. I'm a finance person. I just love to break down gospel messages like this. Um, so I'm out. Thank you.